guys 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 welcome to this channel now you know hey let me show you let me show you let me show you up look at this clouds look at the clouds it's gonna rain anytime it's gonna rain anytime showers of blessings we are gonna receive look showers of blessings we are gonna receive so guys don't lose hope god is in control of everything and uh, now that we are going to receive the showers of blessing let me talk about showers in other areas of life uh, just as the God rains, uh, brings the rains to the, to the earth which is his and we are his people many things God will shower us with many things God will shower us with and these things are many Anything that you have prayed for, God is going to shower you with. But let me tell you guys, do you know things that can uh, make you not even uh, um, benefit from uh, God's blessings? There are things that will not will hinder you from benefiting. If you go out there with your boyfriend or you, with your, the person that uh, maybe you are looking forward to getting married to, I usually talk about these that are getting married not those that are married because we need to advise these, these people we need to tell them that it is not, not all that simple that you're just going to mess up and you think things are going to work out if you go out there and start misbehaving simply because somebody has bought you let me just say a drink because it happens anyway we are not supposed to to talk about these things but i will if somebody has bought you a drink you are you, maybe that is the world you are living in where you go out to to enjoy a drink hey people do you can say let me take a glass of wine then it ends up becoming two it ends up becoming three and there you are drinking wine and you start misbehaving first of all there are some things that a lady should not do you know these days we are wearing dresses ladies are wearing dresses and uh, as you sit on the seat um, especially in these social places as a lady, you are not supposed to open your legs. Beneath that table, there are people from the other end that are seeing the way you are seated. Uh, because you have taken one, two, three, you start opening your legs, you start sitting very carelessly, and somebody is seeing the way, from that corner, somebody can see you sit in a very inappropriate way. It is very unfortunate because that is not ladylike. A lady is not supposed to pick their noses. It's not even a lady, anybody, don't pick your nose. These things, you feel that itch sometimes in the nose. And have you ever noticed that it just comes when you're just on camera, right? Even like I'm doing a video here, it can just come. And I feel like picking my nose. Yes, persevere that itch and go to the uh, washroom. And uh, do anything that you want to do uh, uh, down there in the washroom. Adid is not supposed to take a mirror in front of people and start, you know, leveling up the hair, leveling up the hair, removing things from their eyes, leveling up the hair, you know, doing like this on the face, you know, in front of people. It is very, very unfortunate. It is very, very unfortunate. People are going to look at you and wonder. And even the person who has taken you out will wonder, what, how mannerless can you be that you are doing these things in front of people? Let your hair remain the way it is. Others are like, <coughs> all the time. <coughs> what are you hitting your head for? If you feel itchy, you can always go to the washroom. That's why washrooms are there. But the worst of all behaviors is that one of maybe having eaten meat or something and you start opening your mouth and trying to reach the farthest part of your, of your mouth with a toothpick and opening wide and uh, while talking at the same time you are talking and you are opening up your mouth, it is very ungarish. It is very ungarish. Don't do these things. Um, showers of blessings may rain on those that are looking maybe for spouses, for partners. And uh, as we are waiting for the showers to come from heaven and uh, we plant in the, in the farms and chambers, showers of blessings may also come your way as you get God's blessings and getting that particular person who is very <laughs> evasive and you get them for yourself. But you have to be very, very careful with behavior because this person looks at you as a person you are going to live with for the rest of your life. And he wonders, is this person going to live with me throughout my life? This person who is behaving like this, am I going to stomach these behaviors? 
And again, talking too much, talking too much. You are the storyteller. Stop becoming the storyteller, guys. Sometimes become the listener. Not sometimes, always become the listener. Don't tell stories, 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 stories. You are the one who is picking. And like another day, not another day, there was yesterday, I was, I was watching a, a, a very renowned couple um, the, when they were talking about how they met on, on, on YouTube. And um, I noticed the girl was talking too much until the husband, the, now it's not the boyfriend, they are already married. The, the boyfriend was looking at her like this. She could finish a sentence and start another. And you know, they were supposed to come and uh, talk about how they met, how they got married. <clears throat> For the last uh, uh, eight years they've been married, 2014 to now. Yeah, eight years they've been married. And I was watching them and guys, this lady would not even give the man a chance to speak. And the man is the husband for eight years. And the man was like, as the, so now when we met, we had gone to perform in this and that place. And now, you know, he sent me flowers, just as I was opening the flowers. And the man was like, then she finishes, she continues. She, this man never spoke a word, the whole 10 minutes. And I was wondering, why is this lady talking too much? Are you telling me this man doesn't have anything to say? And does this man even speak in the house? If you are this way, you cannot even allow him space to speak. Does he speak in the house? I've just scratched my head the way I told you not to do. But I did not tell you not to scratch. I told you, you know, there's that persistent thing. And then you are doing like this. And then, you know, this lady could not let the man talk. And this is a very renowned couple. A couple, if I mention them here, you'll be very surprised because this is a very renowned couple on YouTube. And guys, I was wondering, why is this lady talking too much? Guys, I want to say something. I'm not the very um, well-mannered person. It's not that I'm the best, but I'm able to observe. And uh, there are lady, ladylike habits that we have and, uh, and ladylike habits that we, we also buy and, and um, put them in our lives. Uh, I don't know where we buy them from. So um, like that one of talking too much. If you go for an interview somewhere, a question is asked and you're a couple, you have answered let the man talk let the other person talk also i've not seen it with men i've seen it only with women women why do we want to talk too much why do we want to take talk too much do you know we expose all our all our fruits all our you know small things we expose we expose them and we, we through talk and it is not right so guys there are many things that you are supposed to observe as a woman and um, as a lady especially many 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 things May showers of uh, we wisdom come unto you. And guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.